guys, it's Mass Monday. Kind of fun weekend, kind of busy. Right now, Jane Louise doing a cooking show. I better, I thought I better stop for a minute and get my <coughs> Mass Monday done. Okay, I'm using this one again from the dollar store. Oh, I'm doing it upside down. And I had my hair in something, and it slid off while I was doing it, so I had to find something for my hair, and so I'm going to have it all over. <clears throat> Try not to talk low. In the morning, my throat's always kind of, I've never smoked, but it does that in the morning. Okay, this weekend, we went to the UP, which is Upper Peninsula of Michigan, because, you know, we're like a hand, and then we have this spot up here, you go across the Five Mile Bridge, and then we have the section here that goes over it. Yeah, it goes over to Wisconsin. Um, we had we had fun. My husband got to go fishing. Um, my son was going up there for the weekend to do demos all weekend. And he says, "Mom, I got a room at the Gray Wolf Lodge. You guys want to use it? Because I'm only going to sleep there. I got demos all day." So I said, "Okay." So we just had a drive, which was four hours, forty-five minutes. Plus we stopped and stuff, so it was probably more like five, five fifteen or something. Um, so we had fun. The motel is a little bit, um, false advertising because it, you have a lake, you have a water view and made it look like it's right there, but it's not. You got to cross this really busy street and there's a little section and you can go over there and set stuff. So. But it wasn't like on the same property. They owned the property across the street, but you had to cross a busy street. So anyway. Otherwise, we had a nice time. We got to sit in the hot tub. I walked the pool. I didn't really go swimming in the pool. It was really cold. Um, I keep thinking. <clears throat> I had a really nice time on the way back, too. But we stopped a lot of different places to check out water for fishing. We plan on doing it again. Um, or we could maybe rent a cabin or something on a lake. We're just looking around to see where the best fishing spots were. And maybe take grandkids or something and just make it a weekend. Or like when my son goes up there for a weekend again because he plans on going up there and doing more demos. Then I said if he had kids on the weekend and we got a cabin for the weekend, he could do his demos and I can watch the kids. They can play and swim and all kinds of stuff. So, the food. Okay. The first place we really ate up there was in the morning. It's called Three Season Restaurants. Next to it, you get a little car that you get so much off because you're renting at the motel. And, um, the food was really good. I had biscuits and gravy and sausage. My husband had blueberry pancakes. I did a little video on it and he really liked his. My my son had a whole bunch of different stuff. I don't remember. And it was French toast and different things. He didn't eat all of it. He does that. He orders a lot and never eats it all. But it was, he liked it. Everybody liked it. So, so both days we ate breakfast there. Was it the first night? The first night we tried, we wanted to go try these wings. But that place has already done serving it. We stopped at 8 o'clock or something. So we went to a, the other place. There are both bars that have restaurants. And that's why I called it Eat in the Dark. It looked really good. My husband's was okay. The meat was a little tough. And he doesn't like tough meat with dentures or whatever. And my son said his was fine. But mine, I didn't like it. It was, um, I like the cherry, dried cherries in it instead of cranberries. And the cheese was okay, but I did not like the chicken. I always have a bad feeling about chicken when I go out. I don't like eating chicken at restaurants. So I wasn't happy about mine, but it looked good. It was served good. It looked pretty, but I'm too much of a food critic. Um, my son ended up getting those wings the next day, and they were all super hot. You gotta like hot wings. None of them were mild, so I wasn't able to eat any of them. So I tried, and I'm like, nope. And then um, we ate at another restaurant that was really good. Where was that? Huh. Okay, I can't remember. But on the way back, we went over to St. Ignace's, which is right on the other side of the bridge, to check out the smell dipping, which I smell dipped there when Anthony was not one. So 33 years ago, 34 years ago, it was in um, 87. And the smell were thick. But we didn't, you know, there was nothing there. I did a little video of it. And you could see the Mackinac Island and stuff from it. So then we went, I saw the sign. I said, hey, the sign right here says if you want to buy smell, 
go down here. And he says, well, they're probably not open on Sunday. And I said, that's ah, probably a family business. We went down there and they were open. And the guy had already cleaned smelt for six ninety, six fifty a pound. And then not clean smelt because they, why they're um, laying their eggs and stuff, whatever it's called. Um, he said they don't eat. So there's no food in their stomachs. So you can freeze them without even cleaning them and then throw them and clean them. My, son, my husband wanted some for fishing, so it didn't matter. But we can still open some, clean them, and cook them and still not have a problem because there's no food in there to decay. Okay, so anyways, we we're buying this mount. My husband bought six packs of the frozen, not clean. I got two of the um, already clean one for his mom with us. And we should have got more, but we didn't. And then, um, the guy was talking, and we were talking back and forth, and my husband went to put, get the cooler ready, and there's another lady in there. And the guy asked us, if, asked me if I've ever been there before, and I said, no, it's my first time. But anyways, we were figuring it out, and he says, well, how much is this and this? And